Welcome back everybody. I've fixed it. I've learned how to stack. Yeah! Cool. This is really interesting. I used both PixInsight and ASTAB to stack. Now if you recall in my last video I was having real problems with stacking in Deep Sky Stacker. Well I tried all of the different settings in Deep Sky Stacker and I still couldn't get it to stack. So this was the result of my first load of um, data which I stacked and it, I had this weird circle and I was having this a lot and I could not find a setting in Deep Sky Stacker which would fix this and I would love it if somebody would tell me what it is but I can't find it so I hold my hands up and say sorry I can't find it however I was determined because I had some good results from PixInsight and ASTAP I was determined to find a setting in ASTAP that would work because when I stacked in ASTAP initially, I had these weird pixels, which you can see here, these sort of walking pixels in the image because the image wasn't properly um, stacking. And I thought this is a bit strange. So I then went and looked in ASTAP in the instructions. And if you go into stack in ASTAP and then go to stacking method and click on the instructions, it comes up here and it says that for average stacking, this setting here, this is for fast stacking, satellite tracks will not be removed, which got me thinking. So I then went to Sig Sigma Clip Average, which is stacking, satellite trails will be removed, reduces the round squiggly thing factor, Sigma the round squiggly thing factor for far more aggressive filtering of satellite trails. So I went, then went back into ASTAP and I selected Sigma Clip Average, Sigma Clip Average, and the results were brilliant. They were absolutely brilliant. So this was before I used that and this was after. And it's really nice. The stacking is beautiful on that. So I'm really pleased because ASTAP is super quick and it delivers fantastic results. Now, I'm going to do a little video on processing Orion, but this is the image that I got from this data of the Orion Nebula. I also then stacked in PixInsight and when you stack in PixInsight it creates quite a lot of individual files which fill up your hard disk but it does a stunningly good job using the weighted batch pre-processing thingamajig and um, in the end the master it basically created this if I put the auto crop one here so it created this, which is the stuff that it rejected, so we can get rid of that. And then this, which is really good as well. So comparing this, which is from ASTAP, to that from PixInsight, they're very similar. And um, I think it's fair to say that the, the data was okay. I mean, you can always get better data, but the data was good. And I could use either... ASTAP or PixInsight to stack. So that's a triumph and I'm really pleased that I've been able to get this data to work. This got me thinking as well because a couple of weeks ago I took an image of the Tadpoles Nebula and I also had the ring from my stacked lights that came through which you can just see there. This one here is from Deep Sky Stacker and this one is from ASTAP. And ASTAP did a beautiful job. Now I ended up cropping this image on the inside of the circle so I didn't have all of these artifacts. But now I could quite happily go back and reprocess this whole image here to get a much wider field of view, which is really good. So I'm so pleased I've been able to find a method of stacking which is quite quick and is stunningly good and ASTAP seems to absolutely knock it out of the park. It's brilliant, really good. To stack in ASTAP all you have to do is click 
on the stack here and then you have your different tabs for the different files you have so your lights you would just populate in here and then your dogs you do exactly the same now my dogs have already been stacked and the dog master has been created but you would just add all of your dogs in there likewise with your flats and again my flats have already been added so that it's created a flat master and then my flat dogs or dog flats have been used already to calibrate the flats so you would add them there but because my flats have already been calibrated because it says calibrated with dog flats just there and then you go to your stack method we need to select sigma clip average then I also just put the bear pattern to auto and I wanted to force the processing as a one shot color image that was all I did and then I clicked stack sigma clip average and it went through stacked and gave me a really nice looking image now there's probably loads you can do with this program but I just wanted a really simple way of stacking that worked and was predictable and this seems to work I thoroughly recommend giving this program a go we use it for plate solving with astrophotography tool we use it for image analysis I think that ASTAV this astrometric stacking program and fits viewer is utterly brilliant so do check it out and really have a go at this because this program is an unsung hero of astrophotography.